Hi, my name is Casper Hernandez Cordes. I'm a composer. I would like to welcome you to my vlog uh, where I want to share some ideas and uh, processes about uh, this project that I'm working on. It's called Mycelium and Sound Collectives. So basically I want to build a sound collective with mycelium, synths and saxophones. So this is an introductory video where I want to share some of my ideas about this. So you might understand a little about what I'm working on. Now this is an illustration of the three actors that are playing, the three players you might call it. One of them a saxophone player, the other one mycelium and the third one a synthesizer. Now, uh, what I want to find out is how I can make these three things interact. And when I say interact, I really mean interact. And what does interaction mean? It means that two different entities are exchanging some information or acting on each other. Now, it wouldn't be difficult to just make these three entities just um, play on their own. You may, you may use the mycelium in the same way I showed you with the plant I just showed you in the video where it might generate some sounds. It's about bioelectricity, right? So you measure the bioelectricity and you convert this into some kind of sound. It might also be easy to make the computer play whatever it wants to play and then the saxophone player. But how can I make these three entities actually interact in a meaningful way? And to make this happen, I need to find out how, first of all, do they on, in their own right interact with their surroundings? Um, and then afterwards, how can I make these interactions enter into the same stage where they are actually um, doing something that makes sense uh, from each one of the, their perspectives? So it's about how a system uh, connects and interacts with its surroundings. And this a central word here is about how it learns from its, inter uh, its surroundings. Uh, what is it that makes it learn? Um, and another thing is how it communicates and how it in, in, impacts its surroundings. So when it comes to the uh, saxophone player, it's easy to say that you can make a saxophone player play the saxophone. And what happens is that she uses her brain in order to send some signals to her fingers and make and then her uh, lungs and etc. And this makes sound come out of the saxophone. And what is the basic currency, you might say, in this, um, uh, in, in this interaction uh, is its uh, electricity, right? In the sense that you have uh, neurons that are uh, firing electrical impulses. There is also some chemistry involved, but basically it's about um, electricity. Now, uh, and actually this goes as well for the synthesizer, because what happens in an analog synth is that you have... Um, a machine that produces uh, voltages and these voltages they are between 0 and 5 volt and they are being converted into sound in some um, in some in this machine and in this way you have voltage being uh, uh, directly uh, converted into sound without the interference of a uh, digital interface now this is interesting but on the other hand, you also have the computer, which can make things happen in this uh, respect. And I want to get into this in a, in a uh, future video. Actually, I think it's going to be the first video that I'm going to share. And now the mycelium, it is actually also working with uh, electricity when it interacts, uh, when it sends messages in its own system, and also when it interacts with the surroundings. So. The thing that connects these three um, systems is actually electricity. So this is a very key uh, idea that I want to uh, try to unfold now. So um, basically, this is what I wanted to share in this first video. 
And um, I would like to uh, invite you to follow my uh, vlog. And uh, you can do this, of course, by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. And uh, if you have any comments or anything, please share. Um, I would really like to have your input on this. Also, on uh, how the uh, presentation works, if it makes sense. I'm trying to make this in a way that is meaningful to uh, as many people as possible. It's going to be rather nerdy. There are going to be some details that are going to be um, detailed. Um, but um, I hope I can be able to share this in a way which is not too boring. Uh, and um, it's also about uh, how can you, as a composer, um, tap into all these areas and make it make sense in the sense that it's about philosophy, it's about biology, it's about uh, physics, it's about neuroscience. All these things are going to come into play. And of course, I'm not an expert in either of these areas. So how do I, as a composer, tap into this knowledge without having to know it all? And uh, this is also a, a way uh, of me to um, develop this method and also maybe to share it with you to see how it's possible to find workarounds in order to um, include all these things in a compositional process without losing yourself in it, which also happens from time to time for myself. But anyway, welcome to my vlog. I hope to see you around. Bye bye.